हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर राकेश मित्तल सीनियर सर्जिकल फैकल्टी एट आकाश पीजी नाउ नीट एग्जाम इज ओवर बट आई एन आई सी टी इज देयर जस्ट फाइव वीक्स अवे फ्रॉम नाउ सो आई बी कमिंग आउट विद लॉट्स ऑफ शॉर्ट वीडियोज सर्जिकल पंचेस बाइट्स एंड शॉर्ट्स सो दैट्स इज सर्जिकल पंच सो दैट्स यू एंड यू हैव टू पंच द एग्जाम एंड यू हैव टू विन इट यू हैव टू कॉन्कर इट राइट so today we uh, i'll be discussing in this video a post thyroidectomy complication one of the most commonly asked question from the topic of thyroid right so that's a patient it can be any clinical situation it can be a thyroid tumor goiter a benign goiter any thyroid situation a patient presenting with thyroid swelling as you can see here nothing great here now uh, the surgery has been done again irrespective of surgery whether it's hemithyroidectomy or subtotal or total thyroidectomy but the complication can happen in any of these right for hemi it will be one sided for subtotal or total it can be one or both sided okay so we have opened the neck and we have removed the thyroid after ligating all the vessels and uh, separating it from the surrounding structures and the wound has been stitched nicely but after the surgery within uh, 24 hours the first day this is how the patient presents there is a gradually increasing swelling at the surgical site in front of the neck as you can see here there is a drain in c2 but still the swelling has appeared and it is expanding first is what the swelling is now the swelling is hematoma as all of you know bleeding is one of the most common complications after any surgery and so is thyroid surgery so collection of blood leading to hematoma formation and hematoma causing the compression of trachea i'll just show you in the picture and this is how the surgical resident or the staff reacts they panic right they are frightened because of seeing the patient deteriorating severe respiratory distress but the surgeon who did the surgery in the morning now is sitting at home or somewhere else having a cup of coffee with his girlfriend or wife whosoever she may be but that doesn't matter now he gets a call from the hospital that patient is having severe respiratory distress so what the surgeon is supposed to do definitely not continuing with the coffee rush to the hospital because it's an emergency now what exactly has happened anatomically or surgically this is the anatomy around the thyroid gland you know there are two major arteries the superior thyroid artery so that's a superior thyroid artery and that's the inferior thyroid artery arising from the thyro cervical trunk and superior thyroid artery comes from the external carotid artery now i'll uh, at the upper pole superior thyroid artery is very closely accompanied by this now which is external laryngeal nerve or external branch of superior laryngeal nerve so the space between the two is very small so we have to ligate the superior thyroid artery very close to the gland and the space is minimal so stump is very small on the other hand inferior thyroid artery is accompanied by the recurrent laryngeal nerve on both sides but there is some gap between the two so they are not as close as uh, the superior thyroid artery and external laryngeal nerve so it's not a big problem in ligating the inferior thyroid artery so it is the superior thyroid artery which is the main culprit uh, and the ligature slip so that's the superior thyroid artery which we have ligated like this during the course of surgery after the surgery what happens the ligature slips right the ligature slips and that is a type of reactionary hemorrhage so question 1 what was the swelling hematoma question number 2 what is the cause because of bleeding why there is bleeding because of slippage of the ligature you have been taught about the types of hemorrhage is another question primary reactionary and secondary hemorrhage primary is at the time of surgery or trauma reactionary seen within 24 hours timing is important and the cause slippage of ligature or dislodgement of the clot so this is the slippage of ligature so this is a type of reactionary hemorrhage that happens within 24 hours and due to slippage of the ligature so bleeding starts okay blood accumulates where 
Now that is the cut section of the neck. You know the layers, the skin, the platysma and on the front of the neck. So that is the most important layer, investing layer of the deep cervical fascia under which blood accumulates. So uh, that leads to hematoma formation and collection of blood in this area that is the trachea causes direct compression of the trachea and patient develops respiratory distress. So that is the presentation. Now next two questions what to do? immediately because the operating surgeon is far away he is not on the spot but what the resident doctors are supposed to do that is the most common question asked from you immediately something you can do to release the pressure how do you release the pressure in common life the uh, cavity in which the pressure is accumulating pressure is rising just make an opening just open it so pressure releases simple same is the case here open the wound open the stitches. So, cut the stitch line, skin, platysma and other layers, open the wound. So, that is the immediate treatment of choice that is open the wound or remove the stitches, right. So, that is the most common question asked in the exam. Now, what else? But this is not the definitive management. The next is once the operating surgeon arrives the hospital, shift the patient to operation theater and perform, re-explore the neck and re-ligate the bleeding vessel. So that is the final or definitive management and then the patient, the doctor and the staff all three are happy. Thank you.